Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'll be showing you guys how to get really easy XP in the brand new Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5. So before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know that according to YouTube analytics, only 3% of you guys watching this are subscribed. So if that subscribe button is red, make sure to hit it and turn on notifications as well. And let's try to hit a like goal of 100 likes. So if you've not already, hit that like button and make it blue. So for this glitch, you're gonna have to be in the battle royale mode and it's gonna be in the solo mode. And we're just gonna get into a solo match of Fortnite. So once you're in, you wanna go to this exact location right under Sweaty Sands and it's gonna be this little pond right here. And that's exactly where you wanna land when you drop into the map. So now I'm just gonna land at this area right over here at the lake. And once we get there, we're gonna have to go into this house that's down here. So now you just wanna focus on getting healing items. And that's basically what your focus is gonna be, like getting med kits and getting floppers. So you're just gonna break this and get the fishing rod and then just go fishing for a few minutes. So you just wanna get as many floppers as you can and basically just use up the entire pond. So I've already got one flopper right here. So we're just gonna head on over to the other area and try to get floppers over there. So there's another med kit as well, so just get as many healing items as you can, and if there's a fish that's not a healing item, uh, just don't get it, because there's no point for this glitch. And you might get some XP as well by fishing, but that's not the actual method that we're going to be doing. But you can fish to get XP if you would want. So, there we go, we just got some more, we're not going to take that thermal fish because it's not actually giving us any health. So then you want to run up over here to the trees and you want to collect a few firefly jars so collect about three or four if you can just as many as you can hold and once you've done that then you want to run up over to this house so you can probably see the house right now it's over there on the right side and we're just gonna head on over to it right up here so once you make it on over to this house you just want to pull out your firefly jar and throw it right at the wall on this side and you might get some XP for doing that as well. So this is where the XP glitch begins. So what you want to do is you want to walk right on over to the wall. Once the fire is spread over the wall, walk on over to it and take damage twice. So see, I just took damage twice. I took it three times actually, but try to only do it twice. So you can maximize this. And you just want to keep on doing that. And in the top left, you'll see they'll actually be getting some XP from doing this. And this method's really OP because you normally have to set fire to other players, but doing this method, it'll let you set fire to yourself and get the XP from doing that. So if you just keep on doing this over and over again and eating your healing items and floppers, then you'll easily get it. So once that wall has gone away, you just want to throw it the next wall. And this will only work if you walk on over the wall, so it won't really work on the four floor fire. So just walk on over the wall and take two more damage, and you'll see that it went up again. And then if that wall runs out, you can keep on moving on to the other walls. So if you just keep on doing this over and over again, you'll keep on getting this XP. So another thing that you can do while you're there is actually talk to Blaze, which is the NPC that is at that location. And if you talk to Blaze, you can actually get some XP by completing some of these challenges. And then if you accept Blaze's challenge, you can also get the bounty that comes off of Blaze by killing her and getting the Dragon Breath Shotgun. So this next method can actually get you up to 50,000 XP in every single match that you play. So you want to hop into a Team Rumble match and you want to look on the map and see where all your other teammates are landing. So you want to land at a place where no other team has landed or maybe one other teammate has landed. Just a place that does not have too many people at it. So I chose Retail Row and I'm going to drop down and you just want to search every single chest in this entire area. And this is not like a normal Team Rumble thing from last season. This season actually gives you so much more XP for just searching chests and doing easy tasks in Team Rumble. And if you follow all the things I'm going to show you in this one Team Rumble match, you can get up to 50,000 XP in every single match. So we're just going to go around and find all the chests. And if you have your visualized sound effects on, you can actually find these chests a lot easier. So as you can see in the top left, it actually had a search chest thing. 
and I'll show you guys that um, next time I search a chest. So on the top left, there's a challenge for searching chests. So there you go. The challenge just went up one more time. It says church chests. And if you just keep on doing this, you'll eventually get the 15,000 XP. So what you want to do is save your health items as well for the end. So that you can use these when the storm comes in. And when you have to search chests when the storm is here. And if you just keep on searching chests here, you'll get a ton of XP. So now I'm just going to search the final chest, and I'll be getting my XP from this chest, and there we go. We just got 15,000 XP in the top left, and it's actually really easy. So the next step is to basically just get kills, and if you do kills with either an SMG, an AR, or a shotgun, you can actually get a ton of XP, um, and you'll see it in the top left, it'll say, uh, do shotgun eliminations like just, just did just now, and it'll also say AR eliminations and SMG eliminations, and this will help you get a ton of XP, but if you just do this normally and don't even get the challenges, you can still get about like a thousand XP per kill, and about 600 XP per assist, and there we go, I just got 15,000 more XP. So if you just keep on doing this throughout the entire round, you can get a ton of XP, and right now I'm getting some more challenges, and there we go, eliminate players, that's another one, and if you just keep on doing this, you'll get a ton of XP. So I just finished up the game, and let's see how much XP I got. So I got 4,000 for combat, 1,000 for survival, and we got 30,000 for the entire match, which is really good. And let's see how many kills I actually got. I only got 16 kills and 10 assists. But if you guys play this, you might get more than me. Maybe 30 kills and like 20 assists. Maybe you can get more. But this will let you get about 50,000 XP. And it only took me about 10 minutes. So if you keep on doing this, it will get you a ton of XP really fast. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like to let us know. And make sure to subscribe as, again, we're super close to 30,000 subscribers. And you could be the 30,000 subscriber if you subscribe right now. And we'll see you guys in another one.